Hello everybody, I'm Gary Lux once again speaking today on behalf of RSP and the Avid S6. We did a video a couple of weeks ago on VCA automation when I did the SAG Awards and a couple of you have asked me, Gary, how do, how do you set these things up? We're not really sure about edit groups and VCAs and I'm going to get into it a little bit more right now. Okay, so we're going to set up some VCAs right now. And we have drums, we have bass, we have guitars, we have keyboards, we have percussion, we have background vocals, and we have vocals. So individually, that's seven different groups. So I'm going to set up eight VCA masters. There we go. I'm going to set up, okay, let's see here, eight, eight VCA masters. And... I like everything to the left, so we start off with the first one we'll call drums, next we'll call bass, uh, next will be guitars, next will be keys, next will be percussion, next will be BG vocals, BG vocals, I'm doing good without my glasses, this one is vocals, and then the next one I'll make will be all. Okay, so setting up the VCAs, we select, first will be the members of the group. Here's all the drums. We make a group. We'll call it drums. And we'll assign it to the drum VCA master by doing that. And we want it to follow global instructions. The globals here would be volume, volume and mute and solos and following automation mode. So that's our drums. So we've made drums. Here we have bass, group bass, and we'll assign the basses to the bass VCA. And so on and so on. We'll just keep going on through here. Okay, so here we go. So with any luck, the drums will be controlling all of the drums. Basses control the bass, and so on and so forth. Guitars and guitars. So now, in order to get complete control, I'm going to take all the VCA masters, the drums, through the vocals, and I'm going to assign them to the all VCA master. That gives me complete control. Now that I've done that, and now when I hit the all button, it takes all the VCAs and all the members. So sometimes we get our balances and sometimes we have to lower the VCAs because the drums are too hot, bass is this, but then the all overall just sits the whole stereo mix right into, into great control here. So once again here, this is your drums, but everything individually can still be manipulated. Here's kick, snare, hat, drum overheads. This could be the balance that, in fact, that you want, but it may be too hot or not hot enough, and you could bring everything down together. That's how we set up VCAs. Let's step over to the S6 now and see how that translates. Okay, so... All of my VCAs have been made, and I'm really ready to mix now that I have all the control. Once again, here's everything that's involved in the session right in front of me. Now I want to isolate the VCAs. Just hit VCA right here, and here they are. Drums, bass, guitar, everything, by hitting this all button, and now they're right in front of me. Pretty simple. Hopefully this gives you a little bit more clarity about VCA groups and edit groups. This is Gary Lux on behalf of RSPE and Avid making things easier for you on your new S6.